I wish to acknowledge the 70.1% uh, of the voters in this province uh, that has been placed on the majority party, the African National Congress. Consistently since 1994, voters in the province have endorsed the manifesto of our movement as one that offers the best solutions to the complex socio-economic challenges facing the Eastern Cape. Inspired by the National Development Plan, work has already started in converting the election manifesto into a five-year government program, the Provincial Medium-Term Strategic Framework. This program will focus on improving access to quality education and health, growing the economy, to create jobs, uh, facilitating investment in agriculture, and to ensure food security. It will also strengthen the fight against crime and corruption as well as building integrated human settlements. Subsequently, this program will be unveiled on the day of the State of the, Pro of the Province Address next month. On the 21st of May, uh, the elected representatives of the people began to exercise their mandate of the electorate and elected Premier, uh, Speaker and other presiding officers of the legislature. We have applied our minds on the task of setting up the government structure of the fifth administration. In this regard, we have concluded that in order to improve alignment of functions in government, planning as well as the coordination of women, youth, and people with disabilities will be relocated to the office of the Premier. Process to realize this function shift will kick in immediately. Furthermore, during the course of this year, we will conduct an assessment to determine whether the roads function, the environmental affairs function, as well as the strategic skills, which is a function presently located in the office of the Premier, a function designed to look at how we could enhance skills for growing the economy of the Eastern Cape. Those functions will receive in-depth study to establish exactly where best they should be located. If I could, the reason for this also is that we do want to give uh, emphasis uh, on the function of public works as a critical service delivery uh, arm of government that needs undivided attention, but that matter is going to receive our attention going forward. In my capacity as Premier of the Eastern Cape, I have carefully considered the leadership necessary to enable the Executive Council to make, to take stewardship of the programs articulated above. I have the pleasure to announce the appointments of the following members and their respective portfolios in the Executive Council. Mr. Mandla Makupula remains in education. <laughs> uh, uh, Dr. Pumza Janji will assume the leadership of the health portfolio. Uh, Mr. Figile de Villas Casa will look onto the portfolio of cooperative governance and traditional affairs. <laughs> Ms. Helen Sols August remains with human settlements. Mr. Mlibo Koboshian uh, will look into rural development and agrarian reform. Uh, Mr. Sakumzi Stoffels Somio will head the portfolio of finance, economic development, environment, environmental affairs, and tourism. Ms. Tandiswa Machau, Roads and Public Works. Ms. Weziwetikana, the portfolio of transport, safety, and liaison. Ms. Nancy Sikwai, Social Development. Well, this is uh, not least, but last, Ms. Pemi Machodina, 
sports, recreation, arts and culture. This uh, team represents continuity and change in leadership. It boasts of seasoned leaders schooled in the traditions of the Congress movement. And as everyone can attest, equity was well considered in its composition. I take this opportunity to congratulate the appointed MECs and wish them well in their portfolios and government work that lies ahead. I also ask our organization, the ANC, the legislature, stakeholders, the media, and the people of the Eastern Cape to support them as they shall hold them accountable. I thank the Honorable Judge President of the Eastern Cape Division of, of the High Court for availing himself uh, to conduct the swearing in of members of the Executive Council.